What's up, folks? Long time no see. Uh, it's your boy Bob Hollywood here with another review. Uh, it's been a while, but hey, you may or may not have already known that. It doesn't matter. Today, I'm bringing you a retro review of this guy. This is the X-Men Evolution, the blob figure. Uh, this guy is from the year... 2000 you see that so yeah retro reviews here uh figures are going to be from t 10 years ago this guy is clearly from 23 years ago you got a sticker on there from uh, from where i bought it i didn't obviously buy it that late that long ago i bought it more recently and i didn't pay that price i actually got it for half of that i believe um so yeah, this guy, it says he comes with a triple extreme action. Uh, slams, explodes, squishes. Uh, and we'll see what that's all about. And he also comes with exploding truck grills. And on the back, you see where he has some, uh, how it works. And you see he's got uh, the Wolverine from the line there in his hands. And you see some figures down here. You got Ninja Wolverine, who he appears to be holding and that image, you get Storm, you got Spike. I'd like to get my hands on that Spike. And the Ninja Wolverine looks pretty good, too. Depending on the articulation, I might be interested in that. And then, of course, you got our boy Freddy Duke, Dukes, I believe, the Blob. So, without further ado, let's just bust him out of his plastic. His, I can't speak anymore, guys. His plastic prison. And that was easy enough to open. I'm going to lower my camera for us. And he is not very heavy. I mean, he's a big boy, but he's not very heavy. He's got a little softness to his belly, which you can see. I don't know what that material is, but I've encountered that material on like... Uh, Star Trek figures from, I think, the 2009 film. And uh, my Billy Eilish figures made of that same stuff. So that's going to eventually, like, dry out, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Everything else on this guy, though, is hard plastic. Let's get his accessories out of there. And there, with these little plastic things. Whoops. The grill has exploded on me already. And of course, there's two of them. And, and looking at the size of these, these uh, grills must be from a tiny truck. Like, obviously, I know it has to fit with a toy, with an action figure. But the actual size of this grill implies that this was not a very large truck. And that kind of makes me wonder how strong is the blob it has a lot of plastic on this one and as you can see it all pretty much comes apart is it two grills is it is it okay it's actually two pieces which is cool and i, and I would have gotten this information had i actually looked at the back of the box but i wanted to just go ahead and do this at the same time and learn whilst doing it so I'm trying to put it together for you. And everything has holes. So that's how it's stand together. Again, it's almost like a puzzle. So if you're good with, uh, what is it, Legos? This shouldn't be too difficult. Or maybe there are actually two grills. That's, I'm going to put that one down. I'm going to grab this one. Yeah, there are two separate grills. Which again, tiny trucks. These must be from like a, uh, not Hot Wheels. What's the what's the kind of cars you can you can drive when your kids have big wheels? Is it big wheels? I don't necessarily see where this one goes in. There's holes up here. Oh, let me try that. Let me turn that around. And yeah, it's pretty stable and he could wield these like nunchucks he doesn't have any sort of action feature I can't tell yeah that's just soft for the sake of being soft I'm ashy wow 
That's just soft for the sake of being soft, but he can hold these things. Again, like nunchucks. He's got, they're not circles, they're semi-circles. So they're very specifically for these. Uh, I don't know why they didn't just make them circles and then maybe he could wield other things. As you can see, they're coming apart already as I move them around, but they're still in his hands. That's him holding it. Can he balance with them? He can balance with them. He's, he's sturdy. He, that, this portly belly, or as my daughter would say about me, my uh, my big juicy belly, his big juicy belly gives him some stability. Again, he's not very heavy, but these are also super light. Let's see how easy it is to get out of his hands. They're harder to get out of his hands. And as you can see, they go all the way down to the bottom of his hands. Wow, that's super tight. That's super tight. And again, because they're half circles, you can't really twist it to get it out. That one came out much easier. Let me get that off the screen so we don't lose focus. But yeah, here's the blob, Fred Dukes. It looks pretty good. Looks like how I remember him from the uh, from the anime. And uh, I was looking up the character, just like uh, the Blob, X-Men Evolution, because I hadn't seen it in a while. But yeah, he has another look as well. Not necessarily in action figure form, but from the show. So I want to say this is from the first series. I'm just trying to go over his articulation, like to myself, not yet in the video, in the review. But, um, yeah, his other appearance, he looks more, a little bit older. This is when he's in high school. The show starts with uh, the X-Men and their villains in high school. Uh, or some of the X-Men. And then some of them are adults. Like, uh, I believe Storm was an adult. Wolverine was an adult. But you had kids like Kitty Pride, Cyclops, Rogue, Jean Grey, uh, Spike. And then the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants which included Blob, as well as Toad, who I have a figure one I'm going to review. Uh, Avalanche. And I want to say there was one more, but right now I'm drawing a blank. Again, it's been a while since I've seen the show. Not so long as when it came out. I've seen it more recently than that, but it's still been at least 10 years. Um, but yeah, let's go over his articulation. You see he has his bicep curl. He was like that in the figure. And you can see his little joint there. But yeah, he has a bicep curl. He should be a big, strong muscle man. He has that on both sides, both arms. He rotates here at the shoulder, but there's no up or down movement. He has a butterfly joint here that allows him to swing his truck grills, but like there's no... Oh no, he has an action figure. I uh, action feature. I spoke too soon. So yeah, if you squeeze this right hip of his, he'll crunch his fist together. Hulk smash. So, but yeah, his legs also rotate here at the thigh, and his knee bends that much, just like a real person of his size. Both legs rotate there at the thigh. Again, no knees. Essentially, like it bends. But, you know, it's not going to bend much. Uh, his head, no movement in his head. And you can tell that's not going to happen. You can see that there's no clearance for it to go anywhere. If I were to try to move it, it would break, which we're not going to do. This is a pretty cool looking figure, man. Like, I wonder how much he retailed for back in the day. But clearly, he was retailing today. In this day and age, at least that particular uh, toy store. 15 bucks again. I got it for half of that. Uh, Black Friday for the win. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of toys with action features, you know, but this isn't a problem. You know, some toys get an action feature. You stand it still and then you, you accidentally bump it and its arm falls off or something like that. We're not going to have that issue with Bob. I don't know why they gave him a juicy stomach. A big juicy stomach. But other than that, it doesn't matter. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to compare him, <coughs> excuse me, to some other figures. Some other, oh, wait, let, let me get his size for you. Let, let's get his actual height because he's a six-inch figure. But, so, 
That looks like he is just under six inches. I'm not going to go ahead and count all the sixteenths and all of that. He's just under six inches. He's a six inch figure from the year 2000. Let's compare him with some modern figures. Some modern six inch figures. And these figures, of course, let me raise my camera for you. Sorry again if I'm a little rusty. I haven't done this in a while, but I'm glad to be back. Um... Uh, Let's start with Star Wars Black Series figure and a Hasbro uh, Ghostbusters. I almost said G.I. Joe. So we'll get him with uh, Lando here played by Donald Glover, Childish Gambino, whichever you prefer. I don't really listen to his music, so I know him as Donald Glover as a comedian, as an actor. But yeah, he makes music as well. He's very successful in everything he does. Uh, and then we have Bukaki Winston. From this came out right after the Afterlife movie, but this is a younger version of Winston, so it's from the original. Uh, go I'll keep wanting to say Star Wars, the original Ghostbusters films. I feel like I'm from a timeline where there were three original Ghostbusters films, but here in the world that we live in, that you're watching this video, I know there's only two Ghostbusters films in the 2016 with the women with Melissa McCarthy, and then the 2021. I want to say maybe 20, 2021 Aftermath, and that's getting a sequel. That was a really good movie. I never saw the ones with uh, the two ladies, with the ladies, the four ladies. I haven't finished watching it. I started it. Uh, next, speaking of ladies, let's just go ahead and compare him to some ladies. We got here Vixen from DC Multiverse, and obviously that's a Mattel DC Multiverse figure. I do not collect the McFarlane multiverse figures because I don't really collect seven inch figures. And then we have, and I'm immediately contradicting myself, we have, I want to say, Andrea, Andrea from the He Man Masters of the Universe Masterverse collection. And that's technically a seven inch figure. Whereas, as you can see, Vixen might be as tall, taller, but Vixen is actually a six inch figure. I guess Vixen's a taller character. In her universe, but yeah, this is technically from a seven inch line. All of the uh, Masterverse figures are huge. I have Savage He Man, I have um, Evil N, yeah, so they're all huge figures. But those, there's a comparison of those two so far. He's in the middle, they're taller than him, but he's taller than the uh, first two we, we did. Uh, here is another Hasbro figure. Hasbro is super popular when it comes to 6-inch. It is going to be the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. I want to say Beast Morphers Red Rangers. And, of course, we got us a Killmonger from Marvel Legends. I think technically he's called the Black Panther, or he might be called the Golden Leopard, but there's that. And Killmonger's taller, but... Our Power Ranger friend looks to be shorter, at least live action. I couldn't really tell on the camera. I wasn't looking at the camera. Uh, next, we're going to have Jazzwares, I believe. UFC figure of John, bon jo John Bone Jones. That's a hard name to say fast. He has a tongue twister of a name, but it's an awesome name. And then also a Hasbro Overwatch. Ooh, I'm mad I cannot think of this guy's name. And if I tried to sit here and think about it, we'd be sitting here forever. So we're just not going to mention his name. Uh, Fred is in the middle. He's shorter than John and taller than Overwatch guy. And our final size comparisons are going to be two larger guys, which I know are both going to be taller than him. We have the original G.I. Joe Classified Roadblock. He is the only roadblock in that collection I have. I think there are... No, that's not true. I have the Cobra Ali one as well. And then there's another one where he looks, I guess, more comic accurate. He looks angrier. And then I think there's also this exact one in a color repaint. But I don't have those two, the last two I mentioned. And we have my boy, Titus O'Neil. Like, this, this figure was a, a gift from a friend... Who knows I love Titus O'Neil. I don't know why. I just love Titus O'Neil. Uh, he's done great things in his life. And I just wish that to continue for him. But yeah, you see Fred is shorter than both of them. If it helps, Fred's supposed to be a teenager. And when he grows up, he grows to be even huger. Huger. Is that a word? And these are two grown men. So, all in all, I like this guy. Like I said, he has... 
He's not heavy, but he's sturdy. He's sturdy. Like this seems to be a solid piece of plastic. But I don't know because, again, he has movement. So maybe up here is a uh, hollow, but his legs are, you know, big, thick boys. He's, he has a wide gait. He's not going to tilt over, even though he's wobbling right now. But he's not going to tilt over. See? He didn't tilt over. But, yeah, there, there's our guy. And, again, I paid seven fifty for him. Guy's 23 years old. This, I'm recording this at the tail end of 2023. I like him. I can't really say anything other than I like him. What else can you say? Anyway, if you sat through this whole thing listening to me ramble because, you know, I'm trying to find, pick up the pieces, get in motion, get in rhythm, then I appreciate it. First and foremost, thank you. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and share it so more people can see me embarrass myself. All right, guys. Thank you again for checking out Melodramatic Plastic. I'm Bob Hollywood, and we're out of here. Peace.